I decided to just go live rather than warn everyone. I'm going to tweet her out now. I'm live on Facebook.com. I suppose it's Facebook.gov slash Eliza Schlesinger. Now. All right. Oh, my hair looks greasy. But that's okay because it's like straight. It's like fun. It's a fun thing. Well, I'm just getting on here. This is not... This is not good lighting or good anything. So let's see about that. <coughs> oh boy. Whatever. We'll, we'll get it up there. Maybe there's too much conditioner. Nobody knows. That's a fun top knot. You know, it's important. Anyway, just wanted to say that, um, like, that's worse. Ah! Had some amazing shows this weekend on tour. Uh, St. Louis was wonderful. Atlanta was, I guess lit is really the only way to describe it. And Nashville, I, I couldn't have asked for a better crowd. They were so amped. So we had a great trip. And... Blanche got some amazing treats. I Instagrammed all of the amazing fan gifts. It was very special. And the good news is, now that we've instituted the new meet and greet, folks, I'm only a little sick. Ah. Oh. Yep. Only a little sick. It's all kind of in here. Could still go to the gym, could still do stuff, but it definitely sounds weird. So, yeah. I guess it works. The less people, because then you wonder, oh, if I had gone out drinking in Nashville or if I had met all the fans, would I actually be sick? What is that? Why is it? This was clean hair. The claw crowd, Amy says. Yeah, that was something special. I was doing my bit about searching for something. Jillian Rose says she's excited for Seattle. Me too. I hope you're all coming to see me on Friday. I thought I, the show was in San Diego. It's not. It's in like Temecula. It's like southeast of Los Angeles at Harris Casino. <gasps> Hector Ramirez says, hey, my friends and I are coming to see you at Harris. Tickets are worth every penny. And it's a lot of pennies. I'm so glad you're coming. That's very exciting. And um, wait, back to the claw thing. I'll talk about Harris. So the point is, I have this bit about searching for your bag. And the way I deliver it, I'm like, to search through your bag, what do you do? You take a designated search, and then I put a pause there for timing. And as the pause was starting, all these people in the front were like, claw! And I was like, and then they went, claw! And I went, and they went, claw! And I went, mm. and they went, claw! And they went, claw! It was one of those lovely moments as a comedian where you're just, like, connected, and you can take the audience anywhere. There's uh, an amazing monologue in it on uh, Mr. Saturday Night, in Mr. Saturday Night, a movie with Billy Crystal, where he's like, it's the best feeling in the world, and every woman wants to fuck you, and every man wants to know you. And I believe that, and I, I'll keep it the same way. Eh. A pickle, apical, apical, says, could the planes be making you sit close quarters, drivers like a lair? 100%. But I don't think being next to so many humans, even though I put sanitizer on my hands, helps. The plane absolutely makes it worse, and changing... Just being in cold climates, even though I have a jacket. Oh, <laughs> that's very sweet, Sophia. Um, Steven said that movie made me movie. Remember, remember the movie made me cry. It was a great movie. The claw bit is a favorite one. Um, so the Harris thing is interesting because they have the car. When you do a casino, they typically do this. They send a car for you. Which is fine. It's just you got to get there on a Friday. So we'll probably go early and hang out in the greater Temecula area. But then I can't stay at the casino because my mother is flying in because I'm having a Christmas party. Hold on one second. I'm ordering Smokey Huskies. I asked for, he was at CVS. He was like, do you need anything? I was like, I need some AA batteries and a Charleston chew. Claw corner. So... I've got to come back that night and get home because the show's at like nine. So I'll probably get home, you know, you figure 
I'll be done at like 10.30, meet and greet till like 11.30. So I'll probably get home at 2 a.m., but it's worth it to me to wake up in my own bed. That way my mom can come over and help me with my Christmas party and start bothering me immediately. Mm. When are you coming to Canada? Kate, I just uh, tweeted about a date in Winnipeg. I've got a date in Vancouver coming up. Gotta do these things. Christmas in Temecula, yeah. The great taste of Charleston Chew. Fucking so good. Vanilla Charleston Chew, yeah. Stephanie says she has the worst day and being able to unwind with you makes me feel so much better. Stephanie, you won't even remember this bad day. Like, unless you were in a car accident. Like, this day matters not. But why don't you tell us why you had a bad day? Let us know. Mm. Comedy store next Monday or Tuesday? I don't know. Probably not on a Monday. Maybe on a Tuesday. Hi from Phoenix. Coming to PA, Mark. I was literally in Philadelphia two weeks ago. You're a bad person. How's that feel? How's that feel? A frozen Charleston claw, Jeremy. Billy Botragger says, can you say hi to me? No, Billy. Simon says, you're beyond beautiful. Well, thank you. Anup Saha says, you're the, one of the best comedians out there. Though we might not be on the same side of things, I get a good laugh out of your humor. Truly entertaining. That's a very kind, middle-of-the-road thing to say. Thank you. Patricia Axe, Axe, fine, fuck it. What's your favorite snack food? I love baby carrots. It sounds like such a celebrity. I like to nibble on mushroom caps. Mushroom caps. I like to nibble on dried mushrooms and matcha thoughts. Um, I like baby carrots. Um, that's a good snack. Say, or grapes. I think snack. I think things. Today in the writer's room, I think I ate maybe five halos, cuties. Please come to Phoenix, please. William says, tell us about the worst drunk you've ever been. I probably don't remember, but I can tell you this. When I was about 22, we went to a friend's house and I drank a bunch of vanilla, uh, vanilla Coke and vanilla vodkas. And I got so drunk that I fell asleep. And when I woke up, all my friends were gone. And they just left me at the apartment because I was too drunk. I for sure threw up. Another bad one when I was, oh my God, probably like 19. We went out in the city with my friend and like her brother's friend. He's like, the guy was like 25. Had no business hanging out with us. And with a fake ID, I had like four Bombay Sapphires and soda. And I he took, like went back to his apartment. I'm like, I'm going to make out with this dude. And I threw up all in his sink. I was like, oh, one second. <sighs> and then it like clogged the sink. And he was like, you got to like fix that. So I stuck my own hand in the vomit, which he should have done. And I like unclogged it. And then he made out with me anyway, obviously. Angela says, I like your Starbucks mug. I work with Starbucks for 15 years. I find this lip. What? Black lip. Very comforting to drink from. Just water. I like it doesn't spill over me. Patricia says, I'm going to bring you baby carrots on Friday. As long as they're sealed, Patricia, I will eat them. Timothy says, do you like the beach? Yes. But I've given up on the dream, even though every summer it's kind of rekindled. I've given up on the dream of being one of these like gorgeous tan girls. I'm just a very fair-skinned, you can even see my veins, creature, and I'm okay with that. Uh, tan legs are important to me, but the rest is fine. I don't care if I have super pale, whatever. Because also it's like, and this is for other girls, like whatever your skin is, it's good the way it is. And it's so funny that I'm like, you should be okay with being white. But if you're really pale, you're going to kill yourself trying to be tan and you're just going to end up aging. And like no one's going to look back and be like, oh, I was so tan. I was like, I was one shade darker and everyone accepted me. Keep your skin smooth and lovely. I think the lack of melanin makes it age quicker. Quicker. Blackie Lawless says, do you have any special holiday traditions? I feel like, no, no traditions. I usually go do stand up or I do whatever. I'm not Christian, so like Christmas is like whatever. I've had different kinds of Christmases. We've had fancy Christmases. Went to like a, sh like a Mexican resort last year that wasn't that fun. Went to Beaver Creek the year before. I spent Christmas at a bar. I spent Christmas on stage. Again, it means nothing to me and my people. But I respect that it means something to you and your people. And I enjoy partaking in it. 
Brian says, what are your New Year's plans? I'm going to Thailand. Yeah. Kirk says, vanilla Coke is too sweet and rich for my liking. Yeah, to this day, I cannot drink vanilla Coke. Everybody has a drink like that. Like, boy, like I got drunk off of once, can never again. You can never drink 7-Up and Seagram's Gin. Something like that. Does Lip get Christmas gifts? Every day is Christmas for Lip. So, again, not Christian, so no Christmas gifts. But I do give out gifts, so I guess that's a fair question. Ow. Where's Blanche? Blanche is on my love sack in the other room. Why are you guys giving me all angry faces? What's that about? John says, if you don't care about Christmas, should I return the gift I got you? No. Give me that gift. Andy says, what Christmas song are you most sick of hearing? That's the thing. I love the holiday. Like, I enjoy it. I That's like saying, oh, you're not Mexican, so you can't eat Mexican food. It's like, no, I fucking love it. I love cultural appropriation. I love enjoying other people's cultures, even though it's not my own culture. But that's the best part about having a culture is getting to share it. So it's just when you force it on someone that we have a problem. So I love Christmas. I even bought, I can show them to you. These are all my Christmas ornaments or Christmas ornament, Christmas decorations. And they're all going to go up soon. Maybe tonight. We got, uh, we got, we got, um, some Buffalo snow. Why is everybody giving me angry faces? Why is that? What did I ever do to you? It's not right. Thank you for being real, Jeff says. Well, you guys are... Oh, I'm not going to lie. I just had a massage. Because I sit like this on planes. And she like found something in my hand and started working on it. And now my hand hurts. And I think it's from holding my phone too much. So that's cool. So that's a real champagne problem. What's your favorite Boston hangout? When we were in school in Boston, when I went to Emerson, we had a bar across from us. Our school was on... Tremont and Boylston. So I guess this is on Tremont. It was across from Emerson. It was called Flynn's. And we went. Because Bobby Flynn used to give us all the free drinks. Uh, and it closed. And that's sad. Because it was a real... We thought we were so cool. Like after class. We are like, go get a drink. Like you needed a fucking drink. And it closed. And very few of us, of my friends, remember it. Hey from Oklahoma. Your Atlanta show is great. Thanks, Big Bang. Am I a gamer? No. Justine says you are awesome. Thank you, Justine. Angela says you and I should be best friends. We kind of are. The claw. Yeah. So, I could do a brief makeup tutorial. And also, people that are like, alcohol is the cure. This is makeup tutorial. Girls are always like, and they're always like editing it. We're like, Right? That was like a makeup tutorial. Pretty funny. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I jammed the top of it into the thing. And now it's weird that my life is ruined. Minnesota show dates are coming out soon. St. Louis show is awesome. Thank you, Bob Gunn. What the fuck was I talking about before I started doing the makeup tutorial? Mm. Billy says you look better without makeup. Well, that's how you're going to get me for the most time. What shade is this? Why did I do this? NARS... Cruising. Why don't they name the colors after what they look like? Like, this should be, like, like, mauve kiss. And then this gloss is Chanel. I can't see the color, but it's that one. Make it lovely. Thank you, Alexandra. Texas shows, yeah. Go to Eliza.com. We've got Houston, Dallas, and Austin. In a row. I expect you all three. So. You're just going to cry. Why? Can we see me in Dallas? Good. And don't forget, you can go to... Oh, I feel like such an asshole saying this. OMGVIP.com slash Eliza. So you can meet me. Donna says, do you do your own makeup for your shows? I do. I do for a couple reasons. One. 
Nope, just one reason. I just do it. I've, get, I've gotten my makeup done enough times that I know how to do it. Um, I'm not a big makeup person anyway. You really need, like, makeup for TV. And I'm sure when I get older, I'll want more makeup, but... I don't know, I'm far enough away that, like, you can't really see me. And if there's a monitor, it usually looks fine enough. I think I look worse with more makeup. Some girls like makeup. I do my own makeup. I also find it very relaxing. Like, I put on my stuff. I put on... <laughs> Like, today's hits for hip-hop on, like, Pandora. And I do my makeup. I have a way I do it. I dump everything out. And then each thing I complete, I put it back in the bag until I'm done. Get yourself a good primer so you don't sweat off your makeup. And it's really about your eyes being big so you can get points across. Um, I usually do a little bit more if it's stage, just because it's a stage. But, yeah, I do my own. Eliza needs no makeup. I'll be on KTLA tomorrow morning. I'll do makeup for that. Your SEA show is already sold out. What is SEA? What's SEA? What's SEA? Sparklefish. Why is everybody asking me how old I am? I'm 33. It's like on Wikipedia. You can't like lie about your age anymore. It is a sweet sweater. Where did I get this? Brooklyn Industries. Like it's a cool New York place. It's a little big, but I've had it forever. Mm. Jody says, any advice on making an indie web series want a guest spot? I do not want a guest spot, but my advice is just do it. The amount of shows that people just made that like have become something, like, staggering amount. So just do it. The good thing about web series and it being indie is you, there are no rules. So that's cool. Oh, Seattle. Seattle's not sold out. Don't be silly. It's not sold out. I just look at the ticket counts. I'll tell you right now. I guess the ticket counts. Seattle is SEA. How do this many people think that it's sold out? Oh, it is sold out. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we have two shows. Got it. It's not sold out. It's not sold out. I'd like to think it is. Maybe the first one. Maybe they're holding some. There's two shows, so try harder. All right, all right. We get that it's Seattle. Mac Aaron says, I'm having a web series where I take girls on dates. Do you want to be on it? Nope. Can't think of how that would benefit me at all. But thank you. Thank you. First show sold out. Why does... I'm looking at a different grid than you guys see. We also booked a bunch of, of tickets for... Uh, tickets. Dates for Europe. We have a second leg of the tour here in the United States. Going to come to Minnesota. That's going to be great. So get ready. Dylan Hopper says, I'm going to San Diego Friday. Tell you what, that's a large venue. Come to Gainesville, Florida. Uh, people expect too much. That's why the angry face is. Well, fuck them. Kirk says, you said you were switching podcast companies. Is there a new episode coming out soon? I'm going to do one tomorrow, I think. Of course, Brian did not confirm it. Um, so, yes, they're coming soon. All right. You want to see the lip? Let me see the lip. Jesse says, Eliza, do you have free time to do non-related work things? You really do have to carve it out. So I have it depending on the day, but I'm not like, oh, today we went paddle boarding and then did a pub crawl. That's for people who live in like non-LA cities. <gasps> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Jumbo. Merry Christmas. Jumbo. Dakota Taylor says, have you ever experienced stage fright? Not stage fright, but I've definitely been nervous. Like when you do televised sets, like the Tonight Show, like even though you know you're going to do well, you know, you don't want to suck, but never stage fright. Like, oh, I can't go out there. That wouldn't make sense. <sighs> when does my book come out? It's published October 10th of next year. That's the answer that I have for that. I want to see something cool. These are from all my military tours. Obviously Halloween is not done in my house. This is a medal from the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. I'm sorry, yeah, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, Martin Dempsey. And then these, maybe you recognize your patches. That one's from Brian Battaglia, which is pretty fucking dope. Look how big it is. This one was cool. I think I got this in Afghanistan. I'll show you more of these later. 
I think that'll be a cool thing for us, for us to do together. Do I drink before a show? Never. I would never drink before a show. I don't do anything. I really respect my audience and I want to have a clear head for them. I also am really good at what I do and it takes a lot of energy to do that for about an hour and a clear head. I'm not one of these people that just stands up there and like half delivers a bad cock joke, so. Um, it's the majority of comics. Coming to Montreal. Chelsea says, did you finish chapter 11? You were stalling on, still haven't written it. Still haven't written it. Maybe the chapter will be about how I didn't have the energy to write it. Smiling me. Chad sings it. Smiling me. Shake it for cash. You did it for tips. When you come to Minnesota soon, Nikki, that's why you have to stay tuned and obsessively check my Twitter feed. Are you coming to Mexico Sunday? Pamela, that's a great question. I've been to Mexico a lot, but I should come for comedy. Christmas and Halloween? Beastly. Oh my god, I still have all my gourds up. Let's see if you can see them. See? The gourds remain. All right. Ooh, that's Smokey Husky. Hopefully with a candy bar. You guys are the best. See you in Temecula this weekend. Hi!